Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Happy birthday to you, whether it just passed or it's coming up. Happy birthday to you. Now I have an all signs June love prediction reading and June financial prediction reading up on my channel. So make sure y'all check that out. And then I have a video for the air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for um, what's your person's current feelings or the person that's on your mind, current feelings. So make sure y'all go check that out once again. You can book your personal reading through the link in my description box. Make sure y'all like this video. And now I'm going to get started. So what's going on in your love life right now, Gemini? Okay, two of wands off rip. I can tell that you're indecisive. Death card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I see that you're indecisive on if you should end a love connection i see that you're indecisive if you should end it or if you should continue it it's like you don't know which way to go you don't know which path to choose but you know that ending things with this person is definitely on your mind it's definitely heavy on your mind okay so whether you're with this person or not which clearly you are so how does this person feel about you gemini how is this person feeling about the gemini The star card is here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have the Ten of Wands, King of Swords, and the star. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So basically, I see that your person feels stressed about the connection. They feel as if you're stressing them out, but they still want to pour into the connection. They still have hope for the connection. They still have hope that things can work out. But with the King of Swords, I definitely see that they're trying to act logically rather than emotionally. I see that they're trying to be mature. Um, they're trying to have like a mature type of mindset when it comes to you and the connection. Okay, so admire came out, devotion and mirroring. So the way this person feels about you, they admire you. Um, they could admire your work ethic. They could admire how you look. Um, they admire you some way, somehow. And I see that they're very devoted to you. Um, they're definitely devoted to you. I feel that this person may have eyes only for you or... You know in their mind it's like okay i only have eyes for this person i only want to be with this person like i can see this person wants to be with you and then the marrying card your person believes that you two are marrying each other um the feelings that they feel they feel that you feel that way towards them as well like they feel like um the feelings is mutual whether it is or isn't that's how they're viewing things they feel like the feelings between y'all is mutual But yeah, I could definitely see that this person feels very stressed off of you or the connection. And um, with the King of Swords, I see that they're not really trying to react off the stress. They're trying to be mature. They're trying to think logically and they still have hope for the connection. Alrighty, so how do you feel about this person, Gemini? Let's see how you feel about this person. How does Gemini feel about this person? I see you're hoping that things will change for the better. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I see that you're hoping that things will change for the better. I see that you feel like things are changing slowly but surely. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. The Devil card is at the bottom of the deck. But I definitely see that you're hoping that things will change for the better. For the better. Um, you could be thinking about moving or you may have moved already with the Chariot. Maybe even purchasing a new vehicle. Um, it could be one of those. Or maybe even going on vacation soon. But I definitely see that you're hoping that things change for the better. I feel like things in your life is already changing for the better. And you're just hoping things get better in general. Like, not even in general, but okay. I feel like things are going well in your life now. And you're hoping that things will go well in your love life. It's like you're hoping that the luck that's going on in your life in general rubs off into your love life how else do you feel about this person gemini Ooh. we have tribe you feel like you found your tribe with this person or maybe they're a part of your clique your crew your tribe you may even want a family with this person with the tribe card muse i feel like this person inspires you in some way somehow so we have bound which the bound card is definitely my devil card um once again you could be dealing with the capricorn but we have bound that came out and then we have the devil card at the bottom of the deck i feel like you you either feel very attached to this person 
or you believe that this person is very attached to you. Either way it goes, there's some type of attachment issues here. Maybe even obsession, maybe, because, you know, we got the devil and bound. Um, but I definitely feel like you feel as if this person is very attached to you or very, like, obsessed with you. I feel like you know that this person feels bound to you. You know that they don't want to let you go. Um, but with the tribe card, they could be a part of, you know, um, the tribe that you made for yourself, like your tribe of friends or maybe even family. You could have family with this person, but I definitely see that you view this person as someone who inspires you in some way, in some form. Sorry if I seem out of it, y'all. I ate so much that I have the itis. I'm ready for a nap, but I wanted to record this and upload it for y'all before I take that nap. Make sure I like this video, please, and thank you. Okay, so what's the outcome between you and this person? What is the outcome between Gemini and this person? I feel like you two are gonna stay in communication. What's the outcome between Gemini and this person? Too many cards came out. I honestly feel that you want to be single though. I see that you two are gonna stay in communication or you're gonna be keeping tabs on this person or this person will be keeping tabs on you. But with the Nine of Cups, I feel like you wanna be single. I feel like you wanna be to yourself. I feel like you just wanna enjoy your own company and bask in your own success or glory. What is the outcome? Okay. So we have the Emperor here. You could be dealing with an Aries. So we have the Page of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Emperor, Nine of Wands. Yeah, I honestly feel like you're finally reaching a stable point in your life with the Emperor. It's like you're finally feeling stable. You're finally feeling financially stable. And um, it's like I feel like with the Nine of Cups, you just want to be single into yourself. You want to just, like I said, bask in the glory of your own success. I feel that you don't really want anyone around you. You can see that this person is celebrating, but they're celebrating by themselves. They don't have nobody else around. They don't have a whole group of people around. They're celebrating by themselves. The song that came into my mind, I guess this is a song message for y'all. No parties, Coyle Ray. Um, You know, I, I, I really feel like you want to be to yourself. The outcome between y'all though, I honestly feel like you wanna be single. Yes, y'all are gonna communicate. Yes, y'all are going to um, speak. But I feel like for the most part, you wanna be single. I feel like for the most part with the Nine of Wands, you don't really have fight left in you or even energy left in you for a connection in general. Whether it's with this person or not, I feel like you don't have enough energy for, um, for a love connection. I feel like you just really wanna focus on your finances and bettering yourself. All right, so the last thing I'm going to see is um, what does your person want to share with you that they don't feel comfortable sharing? So Gemini, what is it that your person wants to share with you that they don't feel comfortable sharing? Make sure I like this video and subscribe, please, and thank you. Ooh, okay. So I want you, this person wants you. It was a test. I see that they put you through some type of test. Um, if you and your person have been arguing a lot, I feel like it's them putting you through a test of, okay, how much can this person handle? Let's see how, like, let's see if this person stays with me through the rough times. Like, I feel like this person is arguing or fighting a lot with you to see, like, okay, are you going to stick it out with me or are you going to run away? But I see that this person wants you. They definitely want you. And they miss you. So you two could be separated. Or if not separated, then at a distance physically. Um... Like, all right, when I say separated, I mean not speaking. Like, I mean not speaking, not in communication. Now, when I say at a distance physically, it's just you two are apart right now, but there's still communication. I feel like you two are at a distance physically. I see that this person misses you and they want you. But I see with the, it was a test. They're putting you through some type of test. They're trying to see, like, how much can you take or how much will you take um, in order to be with them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all comment. Thank you for watching. And once again, happy birthday or happy belated.